Hello and welcome to another SysNav training video. In this video, we're going to walk through the control module within System Navigator. The control module is the meat of the SysNav app, allowing you to remotely control an L-Class line array system, as well as get access to real-time telemetry throughout an event. The first thing we need to do in order to take full advantage of the controls within SysNav is optimize our arrays. You can do this on the arrays themselves using the encoder wheel. For more information on that, you can check out our full video on QSC Aware, or you can do that directly within SysNav. We'll go ahead and take a look at that right now. Once you've connected your iPad or Windows computer to your L-Class system, you can access the control module either by clicking Connect and Control right on the home screen, or by pressing the menu in the upper left-hand corner and selecting Control. Within the control module, you will see four tabs across the top of the screen, which can be used to access meters and telemetry. The audio screen will display all of your connected arrays and loudspeakers, which can be expanded or collapsed using the arrows. When an array is expanded, you will see the total number of loudspeakers in the selected array. For the rest of our telemetry and controls to come online, however, we need to optimize. To do this, we'll need to access our array page. To bring the array screen up for any of the connected arrays, simply expand the array you want to select and tap or click on the name of the array. This brings up the array drill down screen. Here at the top, we can set the deployment type and audio source, whether it be analog or Dante. The majority of this screen will display details about the current array that you have selected, including the number of loudspeakers in the array, the overall down tilt of the array and individual display angles of each loudspeaker in the array, and the total length and weight of the array. Right here is where we have the option to push the optimization into the array if it has not already been done from the back of the array itself. Let's go ahead and push that now. Once optimized, you can manually set a high-pass filter if subwoofers are being used, as well as make adjustments to the high-frequency shading throughout the array and the array delay time if desired. While the internal optimization is going to be a very good starting point, some fine-tuning of the array shading may be necessary, depending on the physical location, acoustics of the performance space, and the relationship between the array and the audience areas. Within the array drill-down menu, we also have a settings screen where you can view and adjust basic settings on the array, such as the LED mode and brightness, the input sensitivity, high pass filter, delay time, and distance. This screen will also display the current firmware version that is running on the loudspeakers in the array. All right, let's jump back to the control page now and take a look now that we've optimized. We can now see network status and audio meters for the analog and digital signal input and output levels. Any Dante transmissions will also be shown here, and you also have access to the gain and mute controls for your array. The ID button can be used to quickly identify specific loudspeakers in the array. When an ID button is pressed, the front LED on the corresponding loudspeaker will begin to flash. To adjust the gain on an array, simply select it in the list and use the large fader to bring the level up or down. You'll notice that the gain controls for all the loudspeakers in the array move in unison. Before optimization, individual gain and mute controls will work individually per loudspeaker. Once the array is optimized, all gain and mute controls will be ganged together and will act as one. All right, let's take a look at the telemetry screen. Here we can see the current draw, operating temperature, and amplifier status of all of the loudspeakers in the system, as well as any presets that may be applied. On this screen, you still have access to the mute and gain controls as well as the ID buttons. On the SysNav screen, you will see pertinent information about the SysNav network, including IP address, MAC addresses, and subnet masks for all of the loudspeakers connected in the system. You can also view the gateway by toggling the switch from subnet to gateway. In this version of the app, the IP scheme will be DHCP only. The Dante tab is near identical, which will display the IP and MAC addresses, subnet masks, and gateways for the Dante network, which is separate from the SysNav network. On this screen, you can also see the Dante transmitters if Dante is being used to send audio digitally. And that takes us through the control module for System Navigator. Move on to the next video whenever you're ready.